Hey, so like in the ninth inning when Mitch Garver homered. Did, did you panic? You know I didn't. You? No. Oh my god, they're actually back. Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 102 of the regular season, where the Astros win 4-3 to three over the Texas Rangers, secure the series win, and tomorrow night, look to sweep the Rangers out of Houston and tie the division lead. And then it was won. The Astros, despite all of the problems they have had this year, all of the ups and downs, the injuries, the horrific stretches where they have just looked god-awful, players underperforming, players performing but then falling off a cliff, Despite all of that, we stand here at game 102, one game back of the Texas Rangers. And by God, this game felt really good. This game felt better than any game they have played this season. And I'll tell you exactly why. I felt that they were finally back in control of a tight game. Ninth inning. I say that as a joke in the cold open. I didn't. I didn't flinch when Garver homered. It. I should have. Right, because that was a lot of times this season. The Astros have done that. They get to the ninth inning and then they implode. Presley is the culprit himself, and he looked upset. But he didn't look upset like he had blown the game. He just looked upset like, ah, that sucks. I could have had a clean inning or a scoreless inning. They felt back in control. They felt calm, cool, and collected. The story was easy. The Astros jumped out to a lead early and just held it. It was easy. It was simple. You had Chas McCormick with an RBI double in the second inning. Chas McCormick, who has legitimately become one of the best players on the team. Not even, exa not even an exaggeration whatsoever. Corey Jolks, after that, sack fly. Astros take a 2-0 lead. Adolis Garcia would have this fielding fielder's choice. Ground out, a run comes home to make it a 2-1 ball game. But then in the sixth inning, Kyle Tucker homers. And in the seventh inning, Martin Maldonado homers to make it 3-1 and 4-1 Houston. There's the blip in the ninth inning of the two-run shot for Mitch Garver, but that was it. The Astros, from early in this game to the very end, felt in control. Star of the show tonight, right? The offense was okay. They did just barely enough to get the win. Clearly just barely enough because of the ninth inning. But who is the star? J.P. France is incredible this season, man. I, I am blown away. A player who wasn't even remotely on my radar has come up to the Astros who desperately have needed someone to step into the second starter role after Hunter Brown has not performed like we hoped he would, Lance got injured for the entire season, and then Javi has taken a massive step backwards. Fromber's still been pretty good, but they needed someone to take that second spot in the rotation. I would have never in my life guessed it would have been J.P. France. Seven innings of one run ball, one er unearned run ball, might I add there, with a couple of walks. Only two walks in seven innings. Only three strikeouts, which I do agree. I do admit that is lower than you would like it to be. But seven one-run innings. From a rookie who was probably not intended to even sniff this roster this season is unreal. And to top that, a 2.87 ERA for J.P. France this season. Uh, he is the star of the surprises this season to me. I really can't tell you how wild it has been, the contribution that J.P. France has been able to give to this team, and the fact that seemingly every time he goes out there, it's not always the prettiest, but he guts his way through quite a few innings. He gets them deep into games and keeps those games very winnable, which from a person in his shoes... The way it's shaped out this season is all you could possibly hope for. Hector Neres had a bit of a sketchy inning. Uh, I was amazed nothing ended up happening. JP or Jeremy Payne with a nice throw home to throw out a runner. Yes, I did think it was very funny that a, a, a play almost identical to last night's play where they called him safe at home plate. They, they didn't get that run, and then with what happened in the ninth inning, that would have been the tying run, or would have tied in the ninth. I do find that very funny. And you might say, Weston, don't you have any sympathy for the Rangers fans? No, not, 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 even, the sliver, not even the slightest little bit. Uh, Presley was not wonderful in the ninth inning, didn't get any strikeouts, didn't walk anyone, but gave him a couple of hits in the home run for two earned runs. But hey, hey, it's irrelevant. The Astros got the win. 
the lead of the division for the Rangers has now been shortened to one game, and it looks as though, it seems, like there is a possibility. Altuve wants to be activated for tomorrow's game. Jordan wants to be activated for tomorrow's game. The two best hitters on this team loom large for the series finale tomorrow night, and if they both come back... I think there is a very, very, very real possibility that in the video tomorrow night, I'm talking about the Astros somehow, <laughs> despite wildly underperforming what we thought they would be this season, retie the division lead, which would just be absolutely insane. That game tomorrow night, 8-10 Eastern, 7-10 Central, the Astros send Framber Valdez to the mound, and the Rangers send Andrew Haney to the mound. I'll be here afterwards to talk about it, but as for right now, that is all I have to say. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and as always, go Strohs.